Okay, hello again everyone and welcome to part three of my Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're doing a run through, no mods except graphics and two small game uh, interface enhancers. No weapon mods, no nothing. And normal difficulty because we want to end this thing someday this year. Um, my name is Fensty, I'm your host, and without further ado, if you remember from part two, we had sold off our loot from Doc Mitchell's house and are about to report in, as he suggested, and look for Sunny Smiles to do the tutorial mission. He didn't call it that, but we know that's what it is. So let's go on in to the Prospector Saloon. Well, that was easy to find. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Har har. Hi there, Sunny. Let's see. She's got some stuff to here, but we're going to go right into the mission. Doc Mitchell says you can teach me to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Wonderful. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. I do. Meet me outside. You ever been shot in the head, Sunny? It's not a lot of fun. All right. She says meet her outside. I really need to get some new clothes, too. I'm running around in a dirty pink dress and a fedora. Uh, you will notice up there it says the flashing arrow on your compass shows the location of your hey. objective. Hey, easy Pete. And uh, you can see it down there. It's basically following uh, Sh Sh uh, Sunny as she walked out. So I can go to wherever that big fat arrow is pointing on my compass down there. And let me tell you, I am drooling to get my hands on that cowboy pistol. But that dude is, as you can see, watching me quite clearly. Here yeah, I'm trying to look if you notice what I'm trying to do, see if you crouch down, you can hide. Oh look, I'm hidden. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Except I moved and he detected me. I'm just a little too far away. I can't Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. If I stay perfectly still, maybe back up just a little bit more. Maybe. Maybe. Stop moving. Come on. Come on, cowboy, look at your drink. Find something else to amuse yourself. Come on. How far away can I get and still see the pistol? Right there. Why is it that if I look at him, he looks away, and if I look back at the pistol, he looks at me again? Oh, come on. The game is screwing with my head. You see, if I take that pistol when he's looking at me, then he'll start shooting and bad things will happen. Or at the very least, I'll lose karma with these folks doesn't have too much of an effect in the game, but I'd like to stay on good terms. On the other hand, if I can just get that to say hidden... Really, dude? Really? Maybe if we go to the other side? If I could just get that to stay hidden and still be able to point at that revolver to get my dirty mitts on it. Look at He's not looking. He looks down. Maybe if I turn this way. Well, I gotta go find Cheyenne and get this there. Sunny smiles. Cheyenne's the dog. I don't know why I keep calling Sunny that. She's not that bad looking. Alrighty, well, this ain't working. Let's get out of here. Well, maybe we'll get another chance later. Sunny is gonna be nice enough to give this back door here. Uh, while we're at it, we're gonna grab these crates. These are yellow, so I can loot them. And we got some sunset sarsaparilla, which is a good healing um, in a pinch. You heal a few hit points with a sarsaparilla. All right. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? I do. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. As I said, she was nice enough to give us a nice varmint rifle. To fire your weapon, push mouse one. Uh, yeah. I'm not very good at this. All right. Let's try looking down the sights of the gun. Notice it steadies a little bit. See how the little yellow That's steadied up? Look down the sight. And really, we should be in first person if we do that. We'll look down the sight, we actually see the sights themselves. And uh, I did install a teeny tiny little mod to put the iron sights in the right place with some of these guns. Now, uh, otherwise, that sometimes the built-in game is off a little bit, apparently, what I'm told. You notice it wavers a little bit. That's because our gun's skill is still fairly low. So, but if we just wait till it's in the Start right spot, it's like things. real shooting, actually, I'll if we've ever shot a rifle, small caliber, as I have. Unless you are sh leaning up on rest or something, it's going to waver just a little bit. I can 
Control your breathing and squeeze Good off. Shot. Now. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. I did not. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? All right, I'm in. Let's do it. Follow me. And one thing I forgot to, to that she uh, told us to do there. You want to also, if you crouch down and aim, you'll notice it doesn't waver anywhere near as much. It's a lot easier to make your shot. All right. You will run faster if you sling your rifle. So I'll do that. And I guess we'll use this bolt-action varmint rifle. It's it's cowboy enough, don't you think? 223 caliber, 556, same thing. Uh, simple bolt action, five shot magazine, varmint rifle. Oop, what's up with the dog there? Okay, got ahead of her a little bit. Man, this outfit is embarrassing. However, depending on how a few things play out in the next couple of minutes, I may be able to get myself a somewhat more realistic looking outfit. Uh, if not, well, we'll see. We may have to uh, get a little light-fingered. There's a, a picture somewhere, one of those memes that goes around the internet for us uh, Fallout gamers. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got I some do. geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more anyway, gecko bites than anything else. Say. Let's see if we can get a little closer. All right. If we move quietly. We can get the jump on them. And I'll have to show you like VATS. VATS that is the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System that's built into our BitBoy. What I was about to say is there's a meme for Fallout that says, if you see somebody with a with a nice looking outfit in your okay. mind, you've already You're plotted on. their murder. Alright, so let's get our rifle out and ready. Now let me show you what VATS is all about. See, it says enter VATS, push V. Alright, well there's our targets hidden behind the brush. When you press V for VATS, what you get is this. I'm gonna wait till he gets out of the trees. And I'll just show you what you get. This thing. It's sort of a computer aided target system. It slows down time, lets you pick your shot. Um, down in the lower right corner you see where it says AP, that's action points. The half of that bar is flashing. That means one shot here. Clock off half of our action points. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna hit him at a nine percent hit chance, but I'll I'll just show you what happens here. Well, I guess we could do a torso at 17, a leg at 17, rather a torso at 6. I always go for the headshot. We'll take one shot of Vats just to show you what happens. You pick your time. It's a little unrealistic, of course, but they palm it off as if it's some kind of magical tech with your pip boy. So we're going to take that slot. We'll press E to select, and it'll take the shot for us. And, whoa, we hit him. 9%, but we took him down. Pretty good. Now, meanwhile, our action points are slowly creeping back up, and here comes his buddy. Now let's wait till he comes out from the brush. How about now? No. Come on. All right, we'll take a shot without that. Oh, I heard him. See the red line below? Here we go. Now we'll go back to Vats. And just ought to finish him off. We'll take double tap. Sometimes you get a little bullet like that and a cinematic kill effect, which is what we just saw. Sling our weapon and let's go talk to Sonny. See? You're getting the hang of it. Sure am. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Let's do it. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially I don't have a very female sounding voice, I know, but can't help what I got. I'm certainly not gonna sit here in a false set. Oh, let's do it. That would just sound even stupider. Alright. Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna loot these guys got some gecko meat. We can cook that up later. Where'd the other one go? The other one was still in the brush. Where is it? Oh, right there. Ooh, they got hide and an egg. Egg for selling. And hide you can make things out of, although I never have. And if you haven't looked at this yet, you can see here's a good springs is called that because it has good springs, a clear well of water here. I'm going to go into my pit boy and take a look at my stats of the moment on the status here. What's our H2O? That's 184. If you get to 500, you start getting ill effects, such as low strength, low agility, and other bad things happen. If you get to 1,000, you die. And how about for food? What are we there? Only a 70 and sleep, 34. So we're standing right here. Let's just suck up a little water quick. Slurpy slurps. 
Can you do that from the front? No, can't do both. Okay. It is zero rad water. That's pretty rare in a wasteland. It is perfectly healthy. All right, now we can see those big fat markers on the Pipper Boy there. Telling us, I think Cheyenne, I mean, uh, Sunny looks like she's already cleared out all the other geckos, but that's okay. We'll just loot them down. There's still some more there. See the red dots are bad guys on our compass. And the... Uh, oh, she's shooting at something. Oh, uh, yes, there's a lady being attacked by geckos. Let's jump down to the rescue. And she is not dead. Sunny saved the day before we got here. But you know what's funny is Sunny's still going to be like, Hey, great! Even though I didn't kill any of those guys. And unfortunately... Holy moly. I was hoping she might get killed. Come here like <laughs> Good at her outfit. I'd be a goner for sure. Not very nice. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. I am. Well, actually, I'm not. Oh, so many screens. Um, this is telling us about their reputation. It just says that you get fame and infamy as you do good or bad deeds for certain groups, factions as they call them. So, folks have come to accept our helpful nature in Good Springs. We're an accepted member of the community. And I believe what she gave me was some clear water, purified water. Yeah, that'll come in handy later if we're on the road and need a drink, either for some health or because we're dehydrated. Now we'll sling up our rifle. Go talk to Sonny. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Uh, for you maybe. There's a little spending money for the trouble. <laughs> You're gonna pay me for you shooting the geckos. I appreciate that. About living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? I'm always interested in living off the land. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some xander root and a brock. Xander root and a brock flower. Well. You I know think. I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember Great. there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, Sonny, we can do that. Did I loot these guys? I already forgot. Yeah. All right. So now we've got another quest. See if we go into our Pip Boy data tab, quests button. See, we're still working on. Well, we did back in the saddle. That's complete. And now we're doing a campfire on the trail. You know, brock flower and a xander root. And if we look at our compass, Pipper. Point us to one of each, or some of each. Now, she already gave us a hint. They're up there at the graveyard, which if you may have noticed is right up here by the giant tower there. Now, remember I said about the wild wasteland and how it's really not that big a deal, but it adds some silly, wacky, funny things. One of them is right over here. Let's go look at the silly, wacky, funny thing. It's really not funny, except it makes fun of a really pathetic scene in a sad movie that I'm kind of upset about. See, we got the wasteland thing up in the corner there. A little bit of weird music. I don't know if you even get the joke, ladies and gentlemen. We have a refrigerator, refrigerator with a skeleton inside and a fedora. In case you don't know what that means, that's a reference to the very awful movie that I actually refuse to watch, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, because it's a infamy to the character and so awful I've never watched it and never will. I know you're saying, but how can you be sure sure it's awful if you've never seen it? Because trust me, if the entire universe tells you something sucks, I don't have to go tasting it to know that it sucks. And uh, I walked past some buffalo gourd seeds on the ground back there. You may have noticed. Um, you can pick up various fruits, vegetables, and things of that that grow out here. A toolbox sitting here. Let's grab some loot. All this stuff will come in handy later for building things. Thank you, anonymous person who I just took that from. But remember, anything that's in yellow is not stealing. Mailboxes often have little goodies in them. Now, and aside from uh, the doctor's office, so that very first thing, I don't steal every little thing. I don't, or even pick up rather. I don't pick up every single coffee cup and pencil for half a credit or a half a bottle cap absolutely not worth it and I don't do much house breaking either but I need to get rid of this pink suit and I'm pretty sure if we go into this house well, first of all I know there's one thing I really want which is right here on this bookshelf there's a Chinese Army special ops training manual what that mean now it is in red so if I steal this I'm gonna take a little bit of a hit to my karma for the good springs but I'm gonna do it I lost some karma 
but that's all. It didn't say that they don't like me anymore, which is good. Stand up and walk around a little more now. Um, what that is, well, let's go look at that book I just picked up. If I go into my items, it's going to be under the Aid tab. There it is. This is a skill book. Reading this is going to give me a few points. I think it's three points in um, a skill. In this case, it's going to be sneaking. Let's take it. Ta-da! Sneak by three. Thank you very much. Famous house people. But I'm not going to go looting through everything. However, that they happen to have a dresser in here. Any kind of cowboy outfit, I might take it. I'm not going to steal all this stuff here. I try to be a reasonably good sort. Look at that. A shotgun. Oh, I really want that. But no. Uh, baseball and a rolling pin. Really, that's what you put in your dresser. Really. Thank you. I'd like to see you wear that rolling pin and baseball out on the town. Well, anyway, let's go over to the schoolhouse. That's where the first of our... We were heading towards the graveyard, but then I realized there's a schoolhouse over there. There's a big horner. He is yellow. Oh, he's yellow. Wait, doesn't that mean I can kill him and get some food? I think it does. Hello, Mr. Big Horner. Let's use a cowboy weapon. Even though, again, we aren't getting the bonus just yet. I'm going to hit the old F5 button here to quick save because I don't know if I can take out a young Big Horner. And I'm not convinced I'm not going to get in trouble even though he's yellow. Let's find out. Let's use VATS. You can use VATS for hand-to-hand -hand combat. But you pretty much just hit your main target. You'll notice your action points go a lot further with a simple knife. Whoa! Schwa! Whoa! Whoa! Nice. Ooh, blood. That's one of the very few mods I put on. I hate that screen blood, so I made it instantly disappear. Just sort of squirts up to let you know you did get a hit, but uh Oh yeah, Victor Shack is here. Oh see look <laughs> carton of cigarettes, they're everywhere. Howdy, Victor. Howdy, partner. I don't think he's got anything new to say. See, these are grayed out. We've already said those pieces of Happy speech. Trails. Yes, sir. Um Victor Shack is another one where everything is yellow. You can also sleep in his bed. What time is it? Ooh, it's 6 o'clock at night. Better get moving here, actually. Um, Victor does not mind if you steal anything from his shack. And those fission batteries, look at that. Their value is 75 each. They weigh 6 pounds, but they're worth 75 caps. That's a good deal. Um, again, though, I don't steal everything. I will definitely take that weapon repair kit. I always take all ammo I can find. Always look... Whenever you see stacked crates, always move them. They like to hide things in there. What's in the oven? No, I don't need the pilot light. Uh, oh, another ammo. What do we got here? Scrap metal. We can use that. Let's see, 6 o'clock at night. Now we have time yet to go over here. I thought it was getting a little sundowny looking. Let's go find that Xander root over here at the school. Whoa! That snuck up on me. Another one out here? Yep, there is. Whoa. Bats. Oh, I already killed them. And we will search these guys. The four legs from these mantises is edible. My friends, we're in the wasteland, the Mojave wasteland. There is nothing we can't eat. And we don't turn up our nose at a good shot of protein. Now, um, a one-handed weapon, you don't move any slower or faster when you have it out, but... I think it looks a little weird to run down the main street of your town or your adopted town waving. Oh, look at that, a magazine in the mailbox, of course. Waving a bloody knife, so I'll put it down. Oh, future weapons today. That's a skill magazine, which will give you a bonus point in uh, bonus points in energy weapons. What's the doc got? A locksmith reader. Oh, lockpicking magazine. It's getting dark. Okay. One thing I totally forgot about until just now when I walked past it. The only apparel, clothing, or mod that changes anything about anything in this game in terms of equipment is this. I'm going to put this mod in uh, that gives you chains you can wear, necklaces and chains. And the only reason I want that, I always take the ID tags, is this. If you look at our character, now it's getting a little dark out, but let's see if we can still see it. It's actually not too visible. We've got a pretty good skin blend there, but you see the seam where the neck joins the body usually get some kind of neck chain or other garment to cover that so see they don't do anything they have no value of any kind um, 
they so it doesn't feel like it's cheating to use these but see that it covers up that seam and looks pretty good well since we don't have a place to live and there's no hotel here's where I can pick up some vegetable oh, there's another buffalo gourd I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna spend the night and then we'll finish up the mission on part four tomorrow game time tomorrow this house right here this broken down shack right across from the saloon He's uh, uninhabited. It's all yellow inside. Easy Pete likes to crash in here. He usually will show up and crash at one of these two beds. But um, they usually take over this shack. Ooh, there's some stuff there. I never noticed that. See that? I haven't played this game so many times. Never noticed those detergents crammed in between there. Um, let's see what's in there. Yeah, that's some value. We'll take that stuff. And. I usually take over the shack as my temporary home. You can sleep in the beds. They're not red. You don't get in trouble. However, you also don't get the sleeping in your own bed bonus. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm storing some of the extra food items in the fridge. Uh, I carry a couple, but I'm, like we're not, we don't have enough skill to cook those mantis four legs yet. Pinion nuts, I'm not sure why I even picked those up in that promo in docks probably. Uh, those are more valuable for recipes later than they are for eating. Uh, junk food. Uh, we'll save that and eat that. That's a quick little bit of food. Oh, it doesn't give you any food bonus. So. See if you need any quantum on a stick. That's a negative 100 food. We'll keep that to eat in a bit. Honey mesquite pods is another one. They're better off just saving those. We don't have enough skill to cook the gecko meat yet, so we're going to stash that as well. Uh, the fresh carrot and the flour are better for recipes than eating. The cram, we'll keep that to eat. And let's see, buffalo gourd seeds, same thing. They have more value as recipe items than they do as food. And the bighorner meat, we haven't gotten the skill to cook that yet either. So the point is, this is a good house to remember when you start in the game. It's all safe storage. Uh, these containers do not clear themselves out after any period of time as some others do. This footlocker here, I'm going to store the all the ammo I can't use yet. Uh, ammo and clothing I usually put, and weapons I usually put in this footlocker. That jumpsuit we're saving for later and the weapon repair kit. We don't need to repair our weapon yet. Um, so we'll leave that in there. I don't think we have any other weapons. No, we don't. We sold them all. Oh, we have one extra knife. That's right. Which we're actually, yeah. Put that in there to repair our knife with later. Energy cells we're going to sell. We're never ever going to use energy weapons. And uh, these empty shell casings don't weigh anything, so we don't usually we just carry those around. All right. And then finally, this cabinet here, I usually put all my building items all my things that I make stuff out of later. For example, a box of detergent. We can make some chems out of that later. Conductors. That's worth good money. So I would usually save those, but right now I need to sell them. I will need some caps. Uh, the duct tape, though, and all the other parts of making a repair kit. The gecko hide. I don't even know if I'll ever use that, but I'll save it just in case. The medical brace for doctor kits, the scalpel for doctor kits, scrap electronics and scrap metal for repair kits. Um, oh, that's way too much sarsaparilla. We gotta put some of that back in the fridge. The surgical tube there, wonder glue, and the wrenches are all for repair kits. I did realize we gotta go lighten our load a little bit more here in the refrigerator. Gotta get rid of some of that. Uh, Purified water, we don't need quite so many of those. And we definitely don't need 16 sunset sarsaparillas. You should carry about five of those around with me. All right. And one other thing. I think the fedora pre-war hat and the suave gambler hat are exactly the same. Yeah. So I'm going to repair one with the other. I'm going to repair the suave gambler. Oh, you can't. No, nope, they're not the same. They look the same, don't they? Oh, no. Oh, the Suave Gambler is different for males and females. That's why. Look at that. 
Okay, now that just looks absolutely ridiculous. Put the fedora up. It looks better than that. And we'll sell that hat later then. And yeah, okay. It seems like we're carrying a little bit more stim packs than we really need. Oh, but they don't weigh anything in the base game. See, I'm used to mods. They don't weigh anything in this game. We'll carry those along with us. Well, if it's you know, even though it seems a little unrealistic, we'll carry at least ten of those around with us. More than that, we'll probably leave back at home. All right, let's uh, crash for the night here. We're gonna go ahead and sack out. It's eight o'clock at night, so we'll go twelve hours. We'll be eight in the morning. Ten nine, uh, eight seven six rather. So we'll get up at six a.m. As we said, this is a free safe house. Um, you don't get a bonus for sleeping in this bed, which you'll get from your very own bed when we acquire one later, of our very own. But you, see, there's Easy Pete. <laughs> it's a little weird waking up next to Easy Pete there, but whatever. Oh, look, I forgot right here. There's some buff out. That's a chemical, a med, medication. And a BB gun, which is completely useless. You know what? Oh, no, it's got 16 value. We'll sell that. The BBs are just ammo and pretty much useless, but we'll throw them in the chest in case we ever need them. All right, as I said, we're going to save the game right here then. Uh, bright and early here. Well, we'll go outside. Bright and early here, another good springs morning. We'll head out. Save park three right here. Looking at the saloon there. Looking at our adopted house, actually. We'll do that. And we'll uh, save here. Thank you for joining Fensty on our Let's Play. This was part three. I had to count in my head. Was it part three? Yeah, it's been a long session. This is part three, and we'll see you again soon.